Okay, so lesson two. If happy triggers and PTSD trauma triggers are stored in the same part of the brain, let's talk about what makes them different. So remember in your limbic system, that's where memories are held. It's an emotional filing system with impressions and it includes all of the impressions that go with a specific memory, whether it's a memory of trauma or it's a happy memory. So it's either a warning system or it's a different kind of system. So let's talk about that. So happy triggers. I'm going to tell you about, I think that one of the best ways to illustrate this is to tell a story. So I grew up next to my grandmother until I was 12 years old and she made a lot of whole wheat bread. And occasionally when she made that whole wheat bread, she would take these gobs of dough, of whole wheat dough, and she would fry them on both sides. And then she would slather them butter and also honey. So when grandma started making dough gobs, I would go running or one of my siblings would come running for us. We'd go running for each other, go in the house. Grandma would hand us these oozy, hot, dripping, delicious dough gobs and tell us to take it outside. So we would go outside to grandma's front yard and eat these wonderful gobs of warm whole wheat dough that's slathered in, it's deep fried and slathered in honey and butter. And we'd eat it and it would get all over our face and down our shirts and down our arms. It was actually the most delicious thing ever. And when it's one of those memories that when I talk about it, I'm actually salivating more because of my grandmother's go dough gobs. And it's been years since I've had one. But while well, all I have to do is talk about it and that part of my memory lights up and it um, brings all of the sensation. <laughs> it's a funny example to bring into a video because now I'm salivating. <laughs> but even when I talk to my siblings about dough gobs, they have a similar response. It also reminds me my grandma had a old homemade swing set in her front yard. So it reminds me of the swing set it reminds me of the mess, the taste, all of the details. And so that memory experience, just the sight or telling you about dough gobs, brings back grandma's front yard, brings back what it was like to kind of feel free and eat those things that made such a mess and how loved we felt when grandma gave us dough gobs. And sharing that even now brings back all of those happy memories. So... We love reliving our happy triggers. They bring us happiness and joy. It feels as if we're living it again. And we don't care about no language or time. When I'm thinking about dough gobs and I'm having all of the salivation experience and thinking about my grandma's yard and thinking about the time I spent on the swing set, I don't have to remember how old I was when it happened because my body remembers it right now. And my body remembers it without me having to tell my body what parts of that experience I should be remembering. No, it all comes back. It's all a wonderful, happy experience. And it feels so good that we like to have those triggers over and over again, those happy triggers over and over again. So what I want you to do as part of your homework is to remember a few of your own happy triggers. If you can't think of happy triggers, which sometimes people can't, I want you to, I challenge you to go look through some old family pictures, talk to your siblings, talk to friends, see what you can do in terms of waking up your memories to happy triggers. It's really important to do this so that you can recognize that you have the ability to bring back positive things instead of just the negative, painful, scary things. And as soon as you realize that you have that ability, it makes you feel more empowered because now your brain doesn't feel like it's out of control or your body doesn't feel like it's betraying you. 
Instead, you can actually purposefully conjure up and bring up positive memories, positive experiences to help you feel safe, to help you feel happy, to help you experience happy triggers. So that's going to be part of your homework for this week. I want you to remember that the only difference between happy triggers and PTSD or trauma triggers is that we don't like the PTSD triggers. There's nothing different. The way our limbic system and our cerebral cortex interact with each other around happy triggers and PTSD triggers is the same. So our goal, remember there's a, in the filing system, they're stored in the same place. So our goal is to keep the happy triggers and remove the emotional energy from the PTSD triggers. And that's what this program is all about. So in our next lesson, I'm going to give you a few tools to help you start dealing with your triggers in a very specific and proactive way this week until we get into some of the more advanced strategies for how to remove triggers completely. I want you to have and be equipped with tools to help you feel safe in the moment when you're having a PTSD trigger. So that's the next lesson. It's about two really powerful questions that you can ask yourself to help you feel in control while you're triggered.